Hi everyone, this is the Outside World Entertainment, a Shaker and Davy cooking channel. Today we'll make mango achar. Please subscribe, like and share this video. So we have the green mango here. It's 10 green mango, but we only use nine because I eat one with salt and pepper. And here we have this peppers that we pick from our kitchen garden. And now we're ready to start. The first thing we do is to peel the mango. That we're going to remove the skin from the mango. Oh, nice mango. You can see this mango. And this mango will make the achar with. Actually, Davy is peeling the mango. And I can remember in Guyana making achar, my grandmother, they used to pound the mango on masala brick. So here we finish peeling the mango. You can see the mango there. This is the skin we remove. And now we'll move on to the next process. On the next process, the first thing we do, we wash the mango. So here you can see here we're washing the mango. We wash it clean and we're gonna ready for the next process by grating it with a hand grater. And as I mentioned before, you can use a masala brick to pong it like what the people used to do in Guyana before, or you can use a grinder to grind it very fine. It depends on you, how you want to do it. So here the mango is great. And you try to grate the mango as close to the seed. And then we'll use up some of the seed by removing the inside of the seed. And we'll use some, the outside part of the seed to mix into the achar. So we finish grating the mango and we'll move on to the So here we use a strainer kind of cloth and we'll put the grated mango inside and we'll try to squeeze it to remove all the juice from the grated mango. And the reason we do this is because you don't want the achar to spoil. The juice can make the achar spile very fast. So we try to remove as much juice we can remove. Squeeze it very tightly. So here is the process that you can see the mango is kind of dry. So time to grind the pepper and uh, this is a pepper that we pick from our garden and this pepper is fire hot. When I mean fire hot is fire hot. Really hot pepper. Here we finish grinding the pepper and we will remove it from the grinder to a plate. And now is the time to grind the garlic. Uh, we will not wash the grinder, we will just throw the garlic into the grinder. And the garlic will mix with the pepper because we will mix the garlic and the pepper in the mango. Okay, so the mango has been grated and squeezed. So about 90% of the mango juice has drained out and that's fine. If you have a little bit of sun, you could put this out in the sun. But unfortunately, there is no sun here at the moment. And these are all the ingredients I'm going to show you that I'll add to this mango to make simple mango achar. This is some very hot pepper. This is the grind garlic. This is a chief amchar masala. This is chief ground roasted jeera. This is some salt and this is the main guy, the mustard oil. That's all the ingredients. That's all the ingredients you're gonna use, and you just assemble it, and that's it. A char. Uh, okay. Is mango a char? And then remember the seed. 
we split it we took out the inside part and we'll be using these in the achar as well first thing first i am going to start with some salt and you can put as much salt as you want because the more salt the better to preserve it but then you don't want to overdo the salt some clean gloves because you got to mix it with your hand and the pepper is gonna burn me so I don't want to do that this is ground garlic this is pepper I'm not gonna put too much I'll taste as we go along and this is the achar masala all of this good guy is going in here. And I've seen people um, make a char and they actually cook the masala and other ingredients, but we don't cook it. My parents have never cooked the masala or the mango. It's just fresh mango and you put all the ingredients, mix it up and you have your achar. And with the masala, you can put as much as you want. If you don't want it too dark or too masala -y, you put less. This is how I like it. Now I'm going to add some of the grounded roasted jeera also for a nice taste. Although I'm sure the um, char masala contains jeera, but I'm adding my own. Give it a good mix. You want all the mango pieces to be covered in this masala. going to add the mustard oil that the mustard oil preserve it and also it, it gives it like a kind of a uh, I don't know how to describe it but it's very pungent like back in the days mustard oil will burn your nose and this is how simple it is to make a char you don't have to bother your relatives in Guyana or Trinidad to make you a char unless they really want to make it then that's fine so this is the outside world entertainment a shaker and Davy cooking channel please subscribe to us like and share our video and we will see you on our next show thank you very much and have a nice day